All right, hi everybody. This is the Math 31 Limits Review. This is question nine. It says, using only the properties of limits, show all the steps to find the following limits. So we want to evaluate, like back here, sorry, you can't quite see it. Ah, my papers are bumping into each other here. Uh, I'm looking at the limit as x approaches infinity of 3x squared minus 5 over x squared plus 1. Okay, now what this question is asking me to do, using the, the properties of limits here, what I'm supposed to do here is when we write down the limit as x approaches infinity, okay, of 3x squared minus 5 over x squared plus 1. This, I'm supposed to recognize that this is the limit as x approaches infinity of 3x squared minus 5 over the limit as x approaches infinity, okay, of x squared plus 1. Okay, and then what I'm supposed to notice here is that this in turn is going to be the limit, or 3 times the limit as x approaches infinity of x squared minus the limit as x approaches infinity of 5, okay, which isn't going to do anything, all over the limit as x approaches infinity of x squared plus the limit as x approaches infinity of 1. Now we've seen before here that the way to answer this question, because it's a, it's a limit as x goes to infinity, is to multiply numerator and denominator. So we'll do it like this. Multiply numerator and denominator by the highest, 1 over the highest power in the denominator. And so, okay, that's what we'll do. We'll write it out like that. Now, what that's going to do is that's going to allow us to rewrite this as 3 times the limit as x approaches infinity of 1. Okay? Minus the limit as x approaches infinity of 5 over x squared over the limit as x approaches infinity of 1 plus the limit as x approaches infinity of 1 over x squared. Okay, now these limits right here, the limit as x approaches infinity of 1, well, there's no x in it. Okay, so the answer is just going to be 1. The, the fact that x goes to infinity doesn't affect the constant. So this will be 1, so we're going to end up with 3 plus, sorry, 3 times 1 over, and then in the denominator this will be 1, and then this will be minus, well, as x goes to infinity, 5 over x goes to 0, so this will be minus 0. In the denominator, 1 over x going to, where x goes to infinity is going to go to 0, so this will be plus 0, and so my final answer, 3 times 1 minus 0 over 1 plus 0, final answer is just going to be 3.